conversation with Shri Ravindra Naji, the CMD NSIC, who has come all the way from Delhi and he is here with us today on the World Environment Day when we are celebrating, jubilating and congratulating each other, particularly when we are having herbal health plantation. And I wish to share with all of you, today there is a plantation of 200 medicinal plants which are medicinal value usage in Ayurveda and that plantation has been initiated by none else than the CMD of the NSIC today. Once again sir, we welcome you in the conversation. Thank you. I wish to take on a few more uh, points with you. Uh, one is that uh, North India has got a lot of entrepreneurs like Ludhiana is there, Jalandhar is there, Amritsar is there and of course couple of other portions. Then come to Haryana, I have got Panipat, I have got Ambala. Uh, Himachal has got a lot of portions, Uttarakhand has got a lot of portions where a lot of entrepreneurs are there. Now there is a provision with the NSIC under STSC hub that uh, we enhance the ST and SC uh, beneficiaries those are already entrepreneur to upscale their level. Would you be kind enough to just highlight onto that? Yeah. See, we all know that uh, government is the biggest buyer. Government departments, public sector enterprises, they are the biggest buyers. And uh, to promote the micro small enterprises, government has introduced a scheme of public procurement that 20% of the purchases will be made from these micro and small enterprises. To encourage SCA and ST entrepreneurs, it was also decided that 4% of 20% of this 20% of 4% of the purchases by government departments and central public sector enterprises will be made from these SC and ST entrepreneurs. Wow. Sir, once again, 4% is absolutely clear. For but that 20% uh, would you be kind enough to just see 20% of the purchases okay. to be made by central government or central government CPSCs uh -huh. have to be made from micro and small enterprises. Okay. Out of this 20%, uh -huh. another 20% uh -huh. will be exclusively from the entrepreneurs from the SC and ST category. Okay. So when we work for them and we have a conjunction with the SC ST hub, uh -huh. it implies that we would like to have more of SC and ST Entrepreneurs. It's an encouragement. It's an encouragement for okay. them who can make these supplies. Okay. See, when we interact with the CPSCs, we find they say, well, we do not know where these entrepreneurs are, where these SC and ST entrepreneurs are, and the data which the government has, you know, compiled shows that not even one percent of the purchases are being made from the SC and ST entrepreneurs, which means we have a big room for bringing in these SC and ST entrepreneurs okay. into the mainstream of operations. Okay. That is where we believe this SC and ST hub will be playing a very big role. Okay. Because bringing them to the forefront, for which we suggest please bring them on the MSME data bank, okay. which is a centralized data bank, an initiative of our secretary MSME and our uh, honorable minister for MSME. And it is an initiative of the ministry of MSME. You bring them on that so that everybody knows where they are because then you cannot say that I don't know that SC or ST entrepreneur is here. Because in today's date, there are 10,000 SC or ST entrepreneurs in that data bank. Okay. And it is in public domain? It is in public domain. Ah, and it is on the website of the MSME? Or NSIC? NSIC is maintaining that. On? It is on the website of? On the portal, it's an independent okay. portal, okay. www.msmedatabank.in ah. That is the portal address. Okay. So you can log into that and you can find out what it is. In case you have any problem, please visit my IT department in Delhi. Okay. Uh, Dr. Balalde is my IT head. But the point which we are trying to make is, we need to upscale these SC and ST entrepreneurs. Okay. Whether by way of training, whether by way of creating more awareness or whether by Capacity building of these, uh -huh. and when we talk about capacity building, we also include giving them the exposure uh -huh. of what the world is doing. Uh -huh. How do you give them the exposure? Uh -huh. By either taking their products uh -huh. to those exhibitions where they can also showcase them, uh -huh. or making them to visit those exhibitions, whether domestic or international, 
where they can go and see what is happening in the world outside and where they are lacking. Okay. Government supports all these initiatives. Okay. Then even when you have to, you see we, we run a scheme called single point registration where public sector enterprises encourage to take vendors out of that list of SCST, uh, SPRS, single point registration scheme of ours, that is of NSIC. Now for getting them registered, we now charge a nominal fee, mm -hmm. but for SC and ST entrepreneurs, government has said, let them pay just 100 rupees, rest the government will pay. Okay. No fees to be paid by an SC and ST entrepreneur. So that's another big advantage. Why I say this? Because the confidence of a third party inspection which NSIC gets while making this registration is something which the CPSCs really look forward to. Okay. We are also encouraging CPSCs to hold more vendor development programs wherein we invite these SCST enterprises and have a matchmaking with the CPSCs. We also participate in tenders on behalf of these SC and ST entrepreneurs. So that is something where the whole, you know, the entire gamut of activities take place to upscale or to take the SC and ST entrepreneur to the next level. Okay. That is what the ultimate mandate of the government is on which NSIC is working. We have been building synergies with various organizations and I am sure your organization would be another big strength in when we start working with these SC and ST entrepreneurs.